Hey there, East Tennessee, and happy hump day to you. Hope you've been enjoying your Wednesday so far. Bit of a rough start. It was chilly, it was foggy, and it stuck around for quite a while. But now look at this. We've got beautiful sunshine, not even many, many clouds in the sky, and nice clear blue. And we're really going to maintain this as we get into the rest of the day. We're going to see those highs working their way into the upper 60s. Lots of that unfiltered sunshine before temperatures start to cool their way back down into the night. Quickly sliding through the 50s, and we'll actually see lows into the upper 40s tonight. So here's a look at that satellite radar, there's not really much to see. I'll take you out to the regional view, and the reason for that is because we've got high pressure sitting over the region. It's going to start to get moved out of the way, though. You can see some of that rainfall getting further into the northern plains and into the Midwest that's going to be working its way towards us as we hit the end of the work week. So again, high pressure is going to get the boot, and we're going to see this low pressure system swing its way on in with that round of cloud cover coming in first. We do have the opportunity for a couple of lighter showers as we get into the height of the afternoon, but that could could maybe affect some of your drive if you're going to be making your commute back home, but we're really waiting for your Wednesday night to see some of those greater rain chances to appear ahead of the front. So you see around 10 or 11 PM, we've got that rainfall coming into the plateau, moving through the valley and into upper East Tennessee as we get overnight heading into your Friday morning. Now we actually do have some decent instability, so we could get some organization out of these storms. That could mean one or two thunderstorms, which is actually some good news because we could use some of the heavier rain that's going to be initiated from that. But for now, we're not looking at any severe weather in terms of overall risk because the other factors we need are a little bit more muted. But we could see some of that uplift as we get into your Friday morning, especially into upper East Tennessee. This is a snapshot of your Friday morning. So if you're living on the eastern half of our region, definitely keep some of that rainfall in mind. Front is going to move on past as we get into the afternoon, and we are still going to see some more spotty showers kind of pushing on through as we get into the rest of your Friday evening and afternoon on the back half of that front. Once we get to Friday night, though, that's really going to start to be the end of the leftover moisture that we have. So heading into your Saturday, some lighter showers are going to be possible, but a a lot of that moisture is already going to be squeezed out. Now, in terms of rainfall, this is honestly some pretty great news. We've seen a lot of our rainfall outlets recently only be about a tenth of an inch, maybe quarter of an inch. For now, we're forecasting a half an inch with maybe some people closer to three quarters of an inch as you work your way further down south. But for the first time in a while, we're actually seeing some of the greatest rain totals in the region surrounding us, which we definitely need because we have those drought conditions that are popping up through the entire state of Tennessee. You can see moderate drought pushing up here into the southern border. Even even a bit of extreme drought as you get into Chattanooga, pushing down further south into Alabama and a lot of abnormally dry patches as we look into the rest of the state. Now, this is really the only rain event that we're looking at as we look into the entire seven day. So behind that front, we get temperatures that drop down into the lower 60s and we start a very slow warming trend, stair stepping our way back into the lower 70s by the time we hit next week. The ball game is looking beautiful both here in East Tennessee and down in Tuscaloosa.